नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंशु जिंदल फ्रॉम जिंदल हॉस्पिटल मेरठ आई एम एन आई स्पेशलिस्ट एंड अ रिप्रोडक्टिव इंडोक्रोनोलॉजिस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग डिसऑर्डर अ वेरी कॉमन कैनोकोलॉजिकल डिसऑर्डर कॉल्ड एनोमीट्रियोसिस विच अफेक्ट्स ऑलमोस्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ वेमेन ऑफ रिप्रोडक्टिव एज ग्रुप इट्स इंसिडेंस इन इनफर्टाइल पेशेंस इज मोर ऑलमोस्ट टू द ट्यून ऑफ थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट एंड ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स विद एंडोमीट्रियोसिस आर एक्चुअली इनफर्टाइल दैट्स अ बिग प्रॉब्लम देर लॉर्ड ऑफ स्पेक्यूलेश ओरिजिन ऑफ एंडोमीट्रियोसिस but now the latest genetic epigenetic modification theory has clarified a lot of doubts about its origin it is said that there happen genetic or epigenetic modifications in the endometrial cells or the bone marrow derived stem cells this is fueled by the genetic predisposition to the disease as well as this is also increased by factors such as oxidative stress of uh, retrograde menstruation infections and even pollution and that is why we are seeing more and more cases of endometriosis the commonest sites are the ovary the pelvic peritoneum and the deep infiltrating endometriosis and it can also be present in certain other extra pelvic sites like the thoracic cavity the urinary tract abdomen scars vaginal scars and even episiotomy that is why the symptom symptomatology might differ and we have none other than dr abha majumdar to give her five secrets of how she treats endometriosis in practice dr abha majumdar is a very popular figure in ivf and i'll just give her a short cv of hers she received the president's medal for the best medical graduate in the year 1970 to 1975 she has achieved the lifetime medical excellence award and by the hippocrates foundation the abdul kalam gold medal the rashtriya gaurav gold medal and the icon of ivf of north india by economic times as well as the national ivf champion of the year 2019 she is a coast director for post doctorate fellowship in reproductive medicine by nbe so here Let's hear what Dr. Abba Majumdar has to say about five secrets of dealing with endometriosis. Hi, good morning. Struggling to conceive after a diagnosis of endometriosis. Together today we will create a step-by-step -step plan for you to make a family. High clinical suspicion and ultrasound are the first modalities to suspect endometriosis. but most women with early endometriosis will present with unexplained infertility what are my five secrets to treat endometriosis with infertility well the first one is that most women with endometriosis ovulate normally so give them a good chance to get pregnant naturally promote sexual intercourse especially in the fertile period at the most you can support the luteal phase with some progesterone like preparation after definitely confirming ovulation well if this has not worked for 6 months then we move to the second secret of treating infertility and the second one is ovulation induction with iui we can induce ovulation with either clomiphene citrate or gonadotropins which are injectable start them from day 3 give them till a dominant follicle emerges we give hcg and do a well timed intrauterine insemination 3 to 6 cycles of such treatment again if don't end up in a pregnancy then we move to the third step and that is my third secret of treating endometriosis it is laparoscopically visualize the pelvis diagnose the condition with certainty and if we find that yes it is endometriosis then remove as much as possible modalities like ultrasound 3D ultrasounds MRIs can only diagnose endometriosis when it is advanced when it involves the ovaries or the pouch of Douglas otherwise laparoscopy is the gold standard to treat as well as diagnose endometriosis a very efficient and dexterous surgeon needs to do this laparoscopy and there are two main aims of doing this one is 
remove as much endometriosis as one can and save as much ovary as one can so ovary is a very important thought which one needs to keep in mind while doing the surgery as well after this if the patient has tried enough not got pregnant naturally or with iui again after downstaging laparoscopically the disease then we move to the fourth secret which is ivf in vitro fertilization is proven to be effective at improving fertility for most women and we can do it with either agonist protocol or antagonist protocol but the patient should have some ovarian reserve if these two protocols fail to produce a, a pregnancy or to create a pregnancy then we can even use the prolonged down regulation by using a gnrh depo agonist which is given for 3 to 4 months maybe even more what does it do it sort of suppresses all the ill effect of endometriosis and hence the oocytes which are released are better quality and the pregnancy rates become better however ivf is the final and ultimate treatment for women with endometriosis to have a child but then the last secret is still to be out what is my last secret well my last secret is do not use medicines to suppress endometriosis whether they are oral medications or they are injectables because all these medicines suppress endometriosis right but they also stop ovulation and once ovulation is stopped there is no chance of the patient to get pregnant and hence whether it is otherwise or after surgery after surgery it has become almost customary to give these injections because one wants to sort of take away the residual endometriosis which has been left after a very meticulous surgery also but it's not important to remove that endometriosis it is important to give the next 6 months to the patient to be able to try conceiving by letting her ovulate so no medicines for the first 6 months let her try to conceive and you will succeed so these are my five mantras for women who have come with the complaint of infertility and have underlying endometriosis and i hope these help you to plan your family goodbye thank you very much so you have just heard dr abha majumdar i am sure a lot of your doubts about endometriosis have been clarified today to sum up i would just like to say that the endometriosis fertility index efi is now used to predict the chances of conceiving after ivf or an endometriotic surgery and a score of more than 6 is supposed to be a better predictor of pregnancy and a score of less than 5 is supposed to give a lower pregnancy rates and i would just like to talk, uh, uh, complete my presentation by saying that even diet plays a very important role in endometriosis a diet which is rich in trans fat gluten coffee alcohol is actually promotes endometriosis whereas a diet which is iron and high fiber diet rich which is rich in antioxidants and omega 3 fatty acids which are present in vegetables nuts fruits legumes is actually it's preventive for endometriosis so thank you for joining us if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more videos on the five secret web series thank you